A feud between the Macdonalds of Glengarry and Clan Mackenzie began in the late 16th century due to several land disputes that arose after the chief of Macdonald inherited properties in Westeros. These properties bordered lands already occupied by the clansmen of Mackenzie. To maintain his dominance in the region the Mackenzie chief relocated along with a small garrison of men to the property border. The feud ignited when two members of the Glengarry clan sought revenge on the man who had murdered their father, they burned this man's house down killing him and his family. Unbeknownst to the Macdonalds, Donald Mackenzie, a member of the Mackenzie clan was staying in the house and was also killed with the murderer. The Mackenzie chief, Kenneth Mackenzie went to the Privy Council in Edinburgh to present his complaints against the Macdonalds, as evidence he provided Donald's charred shirt covered in blood. The Macdonald chief realizing, he was going to face penalties, fled Edinburgh, further escalating the tension between the two clans. In November 1601, Angus Macdonnell, the son of the Macdonald chief attacked Mackenzie land at Torridon, where he and his men killed many clansmen, and looted their territory. Kenneth Mackenzie once again appealed to the Privy Council in Edinburgh looking for justice for his clan. The Privy Council summoned Chief Donald MacDonald of Glengarry to Edinburgh but this time he ignored their request. In response the Council presented Mackenzie with a commission of fire and sword against the MacDonalds allowing them, to legally, use any means necessary while seeking revenge. Mackenzie wasted very little time and gathered a large force of Mackenzies along with allies in the Ross clan to invade Glengarry lands in Mora. Both sides suffered significant losses including Angus MacDonald, who was mortally wounded in the battle. The retreating MacDonalds took refuge in Strom Castle which was then besieged. The MacDonalds eventually had to surrender the castle which the Mackenzies then demolished and blew up. In retaliation for the attack on Mora the MacDonalds gathered their clansmen, and mounted an attack on Applecross and Lochalsh. Their mission was to destroy all Mackenzie land as far as Easter Ross. They fell short when their leader Alistair McGorry was killed and they returned home. The Macdonalds again mustered their troops and mounted another attack, this time with the plan of attacking Loch Caron, and revenging the death of Angus Macdonald. They marched on Loch Caron where they burned many of the houses and killed the inhabitants. They then loaded their boats with the plunder and set to return home. The Mackenzies caught word that they were rowing home and set out to meet them. The Mackenzies waited on shore for the Macdonalds to pass and once they caught sight of them they sent a volley of arrows and muskets. The Macdonalds boat overturned and the survivors attempted to make their way to shore but were cut down upon arrival, among the slain was the young chief of the Macdonald of Glengarry clan. The Privy Council in Edinburgh became impatient with these two clans and brought them together to swear an oath to keep the peace. Eventually the Macdonalds abandoned any claims they had to their land in Ross Shire bringing the feud to an end.